G'day and welcome back. In this video, I am going to show you how to extrude an SVG file uh, in Onshape. And to do this, we first need to find an SVG file. So an SVG file is a vector file. And often we can find them on the internet through websites which give you free SVGs. Now I'm trying to search for a wind turbine because I want to put a little wind turbine symbol on my uh, product. If you see here, yep. I want it to be similar to this one over here. I'm going to show you the pro process. So I'm going to search for an SVG. I'm going to search wind turbine, which I've just done here through this website. And I'll link this down below as well. I'm going to find one that I think will work well. Um, I think I found this one before and it's quite simple. Um, so that looks like something I would want to extrude onto my part. So what I'm going to do is download, download the SVG. Download the SVG. And unfortunately, we can't just import that SVG and extrude it. We need to first turn that SVG into a drawing file, something that Onshape can use. So I've done it before, but I'll show you the process. I've got this converter online, and I'll link it again uh, in the comments as well. But I'm converting from SVG to DXF, and I'll show you why in a second. So all I'm going to do is go to that download. I'm going to go down to the most recent, open that up and click on convert and hopefully that converts for me. Once that's finished, we'll click on the download button and we're in luck. Now we have a DXF file, which is exactly what we want because if we go into sketch mode, so click on sketch, the face we want to put it on, we can now import a DXF file. So I'll click on this button here. I will import our most recent file, this DXF file. It's going to upload into Onshape, and we now have that file. It's number one here. I'm going to click there, and all of a sudden, we have an SVG that has turned into a drawing file. Now, at the moment, it's facing the wrong direction. It is on the right face, which is which is great. What I'm going to do is transform it. So, if you go to Search Tools, I'll close this. You can transform, which means we can rotate it rotate 90 degrees, bring it down. If we wanted to, we could set some limits. And there we are. If I wanted to make this a little bit bigger, um, there's a quick shortcut. If you go to dimension, grab two points, and you'll see at the moment it's 118. If I wanted to make it twice as big, or it's 18, sorry, millimeters. If I wanted to make it twice as big, I would simply write 36. I only want it a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna go 25 and it should scale the entire piece as well. I might put it in the middle. So I'm gonna limit it. So we just say 25. You see there's other ways to do this. I'm just focusing on the SVG file. It's roughly in the middle. And now all I'll do is extrude, making sure to extrude the part we want. I don't want it to go too far. I'll just go three millimeters. And there we have it. We have an SVG file extruded on Onshape. If you have any questions, just ask in the comments below.